Expeditions Enthusiasm University and Popcorn. We're sorry we haven't been posting as many videos as we would have liked to recently. We do have a very good reason though. As many of you know, we live in central Washington and um, there have been recently insane wildfires that have covered pretty much our entire half of the state and uh, one of the wildfires basically surrounded our town and came within three quarters of a mile or less from our house and so we actually had to evacuate for about three days or so and um, the smoke and air quality was just horrible in our area, so it was pretty bad. Um, so that's the reason why we haven't been posting as much, but we're hoping to get in the rhythm again with, uh, with at least two, twice a week, hopefully. On September 1st in 1985, a French-American expedition found the Titanic wreck. It seems kind of weird that it took them that long. Yeah, I know. It wrecked in 1912. And then, so that took them 73 years to find it, and it, I mean, they Like, have, the first sub submarine was made in, like, 17-something when... Yeah, I mean, they, like, that. they had submarines in World War One, which was... Good ones, I mean... Yeah. So it, it seems like by that time, you know, they would have... I mean, sooner than that, they would have had something to look it up, especially since they had documented exactly where the wreck was. Anyway. This week is International Enthusiasm Week. Hey! Oh my goodness! Okay, guess what? This morning, I had a pan of brownies, and I was like, going down the stairs, and I dropped them, and they shattered everywhere! Oh, oh, so awesome! oh my goodness. Um, Woohoo! I know, I know, I, 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 I tripped, I tripped, and then I found a quarter! Oh my goodness, that is so awesome! Okay, you know what we should do? Oh my goodness, I have the best idea ever! We should go and iron dishcloths. Yeah! Together! Besides being National Enthusiasm, oh, I'm sorry, it was International Enthusiasm Week. Um, this is also Self University Week. And when we looked that up, we had no idea what it meant, and so we decided to just take it at face value, and here is our rendition, or our depiction, of Self University Week. Hello, class! Today is your first day of class, and I am just about to brief you on your day at this university, your days. So... The thing that you will be learning most about is self-control. This self-control class that I mentioned before this is a hard class to master. So I was thinking I could take some questions. Ooh, pick me, pick me. Yes, you in the back. Um, um. Uh, do you think do you, uh do you think I could actually learn like the fullness of self control? Um, that is a very good question. Um, I believe you could if you have the stamina and the s self aggression to be able to finish. So we hope this briefing has been entirely self-explanatory and um uh very easy to understand thank you thank you on september 1st in 1836 um, marcus and narcissa whitman arrived in walla walla washington and they were starting a mission and like Bible classes for the natives. Um, and so for several years they worked on that and they started, um, you know, classes with them and teaching them kind of how to um, do, you know, how to do different things that they previously hadn't known about. And like, wait, were, were they from Britain? 
No, they were actually, I think, well, actually it did say she was British American, so I think maybe, yeah. I think he taught them different things about farming and stuff. Um, so anyway, on Narcissa's 29th birthday, um, she had a baby girl, and when she was about four, I think, she actually drowned in the Walla Walla River, and they had only left her alone for like a couple minutes or something, and she went down to the river to fill her, fill her water cup and drowned, and they tried to save her and they couldn't. So that was really tragic for them, but they, um, they still stayed there, and a few years later, the seven Sager orphans, which have had multiple movies made about them and stuff, um, <clears throat> they were adopted by the Whitmans, and, um, so they continued the Bible classes, and after they had adopted the Sagers, um, pretty soon measles hit the Indians and the white men, but the thing was that the white men had had measles before and so They were a bit more immune to it like they weren't obviously immune to it But the Indians had no exposure to measles before they came so they had no immunity to it And so what happened was Indian children were dying a lot and the white children weren't dying as much and so the Indians accused dr. Whitman of just healing his children and not theirs or whatever and so they um that sparked a bunch of discontent and they got angry and they actually attacked their mission and killed both the Whitmans and I think a couple of their children and took a bunch of people captive and stuff um so you know obviously that was a really bad situation but after they died a bunch of the Indians got saved and um, I don't know if this was really true like if I don't know really who said this but um, it was you know it was said after they died that they did more in their death than they could in their life that not very many people had been saved when they were ministering to the Indians when they were alive and after they died um, a lot of them came to see the truth and became Christians so that was um, you know even though it was a bad story it turned into something good so that's pretty interesting. This week is International Popcorn Week. That's a lot of popcorn. Yeah, I know. I didn't actually, I was just kind of like chomping at it. I wasn't really... There's probably some regurgitated stuff in here. Not really. Mmm. -hmm. This is good popcorn, my goodness. Look, I can do it really well. Oh, wait. We can put this in the blooper thing. Mm hmm. I'm getting it like every time. Mm -hmm. Stop. This is blooper. No, guys, see how many times you can get it. I've gotten it every time. I don't have any big pieces left. It doesn't matter. Oh, whoops, missed one. I think this piece is jinxed. <laughs> oh, goodness. We need to do the ending soon. No. I mean, not right now, but. Okay. Mm, yeah, two at one. Well. Orville Raidenbacker is not a sponsor. <laughs>